What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all another video, man. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's NBA game. You had the Miami Heat beating the New Orleans Pelicans 103-93 to to head into the halfway point of the season and the All-Star break at 500 with an 18-18 and 18 record. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos. Um, so feel free to DM me whenever I get a chance to. I'll get back at you. Um, come high, let your boy, yo. Um, nice win. Nice win. Um, coming off of a, a ugly loss Tuesday, you know, the breakout win, our six-game winning streak. Um, a nice win to get back to 500. Heading into the All Star break, into the in the midway point of the season, um, this team playing really good basketball right now, yo. Um, and our players, you know, they not participating, you know, in the All Star game, so we shouldn't, you know, have to worry about any injury or anything up to that that nature. Um, but I'm looking forward to the second half, man. Um, we're getting healthier, like I mentioned. We're playing with more cohesion. Jimmy Butler has just been amazing. He missed the last couple of games, came back tonight, closed the game out, shot the three ball at the end confidently. Um, he just does a little bit of everything, yo. Kelly Olenek actually had a solid game tonight also. Um, Andre Iguodala stepped up big offensively in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, just a good overall all-around win. Um, and that's without, you know, Bam Adebayo. Now, I know that the Pelicans was missing Zion you know, um, and Reddick, but we was missing Bam. <laughs> so, um, good win, man. Good win against a young, very, very talented basketball team. Um, 18 and 18. This, this is a good place to be considering we were 11 and 17, you know, not that long ago. Um, this is a very, very good place to be, um, at 500. And, you know, it's a lot of chatter out there that we may actually, you know, be active at the trade deadline. I feel like, you know, of course, I, you know, my thing is Bradley Bill, but I don't think he's going nowhere. But for this team, a guy like P.J. Tucker would be amazing. He would be our Jay Crowder from last year, a 3 and D guy that could go out there and play physical and give us some really, really good minutes. Um you know, there's P.J. Tucker out there. You know, there's guys like Rudy Gay out there. You know, Harrison Barnes. Um, I feel like we're going to ask somebody. We're going to ask somebody, um, and that could help us, you know, by the time these playoffs start, potentially get a top four seed, you know, which would be pretty huge. Um, so I'm optimistic right now. As a Miami Heat fan, I am very, very optimistic. Um, I like what I've seen, you know, with the exception of the last game, which – you know, there's there's nights like that. What then without Jimmy? Uh, they they got a new you know interim coach because apparently they disliked the coach they had before, so they had a little extra juice. Um, but I like where we're at considering where we were. Now coming into the season, I wouldn't have like an eighteen and eighteen record at the halfway point. But considering where we was with all the injuries, with all the the, the health and safety protocols that that our key players had to miss miss games. I like where we stand right now, especially this year. You know, we picked the right year to kind of, you know, be 18 and 18 at this point. Because nobody in the East, you know, you got the 76ers, the Nets, and the Bucks, And everybody else is, is, is hovering around where we at. Like, is hovering around the 500 um, mark. So, we got a chance really and truly to really get to that fourth seed. Um, so, um, stay healthy. Get healthier. Rest up. Um, a week from tonight, we got the Orlando Magic at home. Um, and I'm just ready for this second half, yo. I really feel like this team is starting to come together. Um, Jimmy Butler is, is is just turning into bubble Jimmy. <laughs> like, I like that Tyler Hero is coming off of the bench. I feel like at this point, maybe in the future, he could be a starting point guard. But at this point in his career, I just feel like He's best suited as a six-man coming into the game and just having instant offense. You know, kind of like how Harden was in Oklahoma City, you know, when he first, you know, got into the league. Um, like I said, I still feel like we need a starting stretch for Though Olenek played solid tonight, 
We need somebody to go out there and start on the side of Bam. And I know him, Pat Riley, like I like I believe I know him. I think he's gonna make that happen. 18 and 18. Jimmy Butler was amazing tonight. 29 and 9. This team is 500, man. After a very, very ugly start. Looking for let's 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 look forward to the second half, yo. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe and have Miami Heat and NBA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Come on there. Ask me anything. Tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.